Hi, this is John and welcome to my 3D printing corner. Today I've got two Prusa Minis and I've set them up. This one has the belts as tight as it'll go and this one's got the belts really loose. So let's uh, get started and take a look and figure out how to tighten the belts on these. Okay, so my friend Lyle over at Trailer Alarms brought his Mini in because it was having some trouble. So I'm troubleshooting it and while it's here, I decided to tighten the belts on this machine all the, as far as it would go. And then on my machine, I've got them quite loose. Uh, it's to the point where it's almost skipping on the pulley. So. What I'm going to do is let it print about 20 layers, come back, adjust the belts to closer to where I had them, and we'll see what effect it has on the print. Okay, now that I've got it about halfway through, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to adjust the x-axis. So we've got four bolts. These two bolts in front control how tight it's clamped to the rods, so you'll need to loosen those before you can turn these in. And when you turn these in, it pulls this whole assembly out and tightens the belt. So I counted on mine when I had it set up, so I'm just going to screw it back to the position that I had it. Do each one at a time. That way you pull it evenly and don't get this rack to where it changes how the rod, the spacing of the rods. Okay. Also, to cover how you would loosen this, you're going to take these two bolts loose, you're going to take these out a couple turns, then you can either push it in when holding over on this side, holding the, the, the rods on this side. Not the frame, but you want to try and hold the end of the rods here. Um, if you can't push it any, you can try tapping it lightly, top to bottom, and, and make sure you equally push it. So now let's go ahead and uh, look at one of the finished prints. So on the bottom of this is where the belts were really loose and that is along the y-axis so you can see how the bottom is a, is a very slow vibration so you can picture a rubber band and if you ping a rubber band that that's not stretched out it's got a slow vibration to it so it's kind of what you're seeing on the bottom and you can see on the top it's much cleaner and then also the corners you'll notice the corners are crisper you can see right uh, right here for example when you've got a loose belt the corners will look pretty bad okay now that I have the x-axis back I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down to clamp the rods and then this is where we adjust and move the camera here. This is where we're going to adjust the uh, Y axis. And so you've got the tensioner here. And so as you tighten these, it pulls the tensioner forward and tightens the belt. So I need to turn each one of these four times to get back to my position. Okay, now that I've got this adjusted back to how I want it. We're just going to wait for the prints to finish, and then we're going to look at them under some, some better lighting. Okay, this is off the printer where the belts were as tight as they would go. And you can see how closely spaced the lines are, the vertical lines. So you'll see that more... And surprisingly, I, I was expecting it to be a little bit worse, but uh, maybe the belts just aren't 
as tight as I wanted to get them, even though it's all the way tight, if that makes sense. On the top, we've got the, the one where we were playing with the belt tension, so you can see. On the bottom, you've got the tight belts. In the middle, you've got the loose belts. And on the top, we've got a little bit tighter tension. Still needs some work, but you can see the difference. Yeah, we're done, done. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.